Hallelujah. Amen. The God that loved the Lord. Amen. Amen. And amen. He's not going to move unless God tell him to. Amen. Amen. So if God didn't tell him to move, he's not going to move. Don't worry about it. He's going to stay right there. Right? <laughs> amen. Praise God. But we thank God for him. Praise God. We praise God in ministry. And praise God for October 25 years. Praise God. Amen. The Lord stored us up in the ministry young. Praise God. And we've been loving God. Amen. We're faithful to the Lord. And I tell you what, I don't think I have to tell the saints about it, but he has been truly faithful toward us. Praise God. We praise God for Pastor Barry Jones. Been knowing him a long time. Praise God. And it just this summer, praise God, we had an opportunity to visit him and find him, praise God, and just to, just to reacquaint ourselves. And we just thank God for his lovely wife, praise God. We thank God for all he's doing. Amen. We just praise God and we ask for God to just come in and have his way. We pray that the Lord of God be upon my pastor and my husband today, that the Lord will just come in and just have his holy way. Y'all. Um, give praise to the Lord, and here's my pastor, Pastor Jerome Patrick. Amen. 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 But you are somebody. Amen. 
Amen. In the Lord. Amen. You are somebody in the Lord. A lot, a lot of times we, we fail to recognize that. We fail to recognize what God really done for us. Amen. Amen. We fail to recognize when God saved us, He gives us power. Sometimes we all we think that power is for us, shouting, speaking in tongues, you know, just oh, running out. But God give you power over all the powers of the enemy. Amen. 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 The Bible declares you can drink any deadly thing and it won't hurt you. Come on. Uh, you'll bum it out, spit it out, whatever. It may not taste too good. Amen. Amen. But the Bible said that it will not hurt you. Give you power. Amen. That, that power is more than just coming and jumping on church on Sundays. Amen. You need that power when you go to work on Monday. Amen. That mean boss man waiting on you. Amen. My mom, she about 60 some odd years and she was having a hard time on a job and it was laying off the old people. My mom, she told the supervisor she acknowledged what was going on he was putting more work on. Mom stood up to the supervisor, bring it on. Old lady said, bring it on. But God will give you strength. Don't be afraid of the devil. If you got the Holy Ghost, you were able to say, bring it on. A lot of times we feel like, hey, the devil got more power than God. Amen? And in this life, a lot of times you, you really feel that way. Amen. You may not say it. But you know, a lot of times I heard people say, well, you better say that the devil is here. Huh? Don't say that the devil. You got power over the enemy. You fail to recognize the power that God gives us through the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. And, and we fail to recognize when Jesus came and died on the cross, he died that we have life and have that life more abundant. A lot of times you live in beneath your privilege. God give you a weapon, and that weapon is called prayer. You don't have to go to the preacher and ask him for anything. You can go directly to God. Amen. Go to the throne Amen. of grace. Amen. There's power in prayer. But you look like you took your weapon and put it in the bone. Don't want to use it no more. Put it up now and got all dusty. And you just give me your life. But you are somebody. Amen. I said you are somebody. And you are somebody in the Lord. A lot of times we feel the way we feel because of the world don't love us. The world ain't going to love you. The Bible declares that the world love it's is on. Can I get a witness? Amen. You got to get enough strength, enough boldness in you to stand up and to fight Against the enemy. Amen. His enemy ain't going to just lay down and you do what you want to do. That's right. Amen. He come to rob, steal, kill, and to destroy. Amen. Anything that you allow him to do. Amen. But God give you power. Amen. And if the devil do it, because you let him do it. Amen. I know this is a tedious journey. And I know this journey is tough. Hallelujah. But God want to build his people up with enough faith to believe in him. We lost the, the trust and the confidence in God. Huh? Yeah, we, we lost the trust and the confidence in God. But God want to assure you today that he's going to be with you to the end. Oh, yeah. He want his people to stand as people of God. And you don't turn your back on the world. You're living for the Lord all you know how. And you can't get a prayer through. Something is wrong with that. Amen. Uh, you ought to be able to move some mountains in your life. Amen. Uh, ain't going to do us no good to go out there and move some mountains out there. Well, we need to move some out of our life. Amen. You ought to look at it, a, a real mountain to tell the mountain to move. Amen. You need to be telling the mountains in your life to move. That's right. Can I get a witness? Amen. Uh, in my life and growing up, the Lord here to teach me. That's why I'm slowing down today so I can teach you a little something. Maybe you'll catch on with it. Whatever you catch on, you eat it. Whatever you eat, just throw it away. Mm -hmm. Have you ever to a restaurant? All you can eat is, you know, it's all you can eat. It's already paid for. You go there, sometimes you, you eat and it tastes good. Sometimes it don't taste good. You don't, you don't eat it. Mm -hmm. It don't taste 